Oh yeah. That's some good cow lactation. <laughs> hey, hello everyone. And welcome back to the walkthrough. I have decided, because that other chipping minigame I think I'm gonna have is more issues with than I thought based on me only getting two chips. And I think I'm gonna go over to the match. Yes, the match. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, Kid, the legendary golfer, I think it's time to play him. So here we go. I will give it my all, and it'll probably take me two parts to beat him. Here we go. The ultimate match. The legend versus the upcoming legend. That is technically already a legend on another game cartridge, but still. But still. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to play at my absolute best. So I'm gonna be carefully hitting spot spots, trying to stay out as much of trouble as I possibly can because Kid is pretty good. He is the kid to fear, even though he's not really a kid anymore. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. So he look at this precision he's got here. He just hit in between everything there. And he's in very good position, much better position than I am to hit the green actually, but as I said, I'm hitting to spot the spot. Just gonna play my own game and still go for the birdies, of course. And super backspin the controller because I have to hit into the green with a three wood. So hit into the slope or short, that'll work too. Ooh, beautiful. And that is birdie time. What you got, kid? You got a lot of power, that's for sure, but in terms of your approach, what you got? Mm, that's pretty far off line, like really far off line. And uh, you do know that the short game is where most of the strokes happen, right? Don't you? <laughs> well, well, looks like I've got a whole one victory then, because chances are I'm going to birdie this. Yeah, that looks like a birdie. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, one up for one hole. Uh, I don't think my luck will continue like that the whole way through, but uh, I'll see. I'll just, as I said, play to the best of my ability and see how things turn out. Ooh. I don't like that left miss hit because I think it's gonna be... Uh, well... Well, okay. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was gonna end up in the heath or something, but no, I don't know. Guess the stat increases really helped. <laughs> now, um, on par 5, because of his massive drive distance, sort of like Tiny in a way, he has a much easier chance of getting on greens in 2 as you do uh, than you do at this point in the game, unless you've been leveling up like crazy due to just playing all sorts of tournaments over and over again, but since I haven't been doing that and I'm not much of a level grinder, I will, as I said, only be able to play to the absolute best of my ability, and this includes my character's ability, too. So, just spot to spot, whatever low score that I can possibly get, I'll be going for, and, well, I'll hope for the best. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look like that he'll be able to pull off getting on the green and two here. I think it's because of that poor fairway lie there. Like, you see how it's, like, sitting in a depression over there at the bottom right corner there? Yeah, that's kind of an issue, and I got that as well, but since I'm closer to the green, it doesn't make as much of a difference. I gotta aim way over here, because that wind is massive, and regular backspin will be able to control that nicely. It's gonna hit off the slope, sit on the first nice flat area there, and there we go. I wasn't aiming for the hole or anything like that, because you know, just as long as I get on the flat spot, I'm gonna make the putt as long as I hit the putt hard enough, so... Oh, that's gonna plug! <laughs> yeah, the, when it when the ball falls into the bunker at such a high trajectory like that, it's just gonna go... Because <laughs> the sand is soft and it just buries itself. Uh, nice, I guess. But not nice enough. <laughs> And, you know, he had such a good opportunity there if he wouldn't have gone, uh, well, <laughs> anyway, whoops, wanted to go, yeah, that way, there we go, Xbox D-pad, Xbox D-pad, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna hit way over there, because there's a lot of wind, not much green to work with, so super backspin it is, 
And oh, the wind didn't really take me far as much left as I mean as far left as I thought it would have. But well, I can probably make that putt. Yeah, he's not playing it as far left as I did. I mean, as far uh, right as I did. Excuse me. I was thinking left because of the wind there, and I misspoke. Ooh, nice shot there. Ooh, very nice. So that means I'm gonna have to birdie this. Because chances are he's going to. So I'm gonna play it. Uh, a little bit to the right, not like a smidge, just like a three pixels or so, rather than one pixel, and hope for the best. Gotta hit it much harder past the mark for the uphill and fringe, because the fringe is thicker than the green, and it goes in. There we go! And also, if you didn't know, fringe technically isn't on the green, that's why the music didn't change. So yeah. Uh, mm. Uh, Fringe is like a judgment call, like whether or not you want to actually go for uh, a putt or if you want to chip it off there, it all depends on how much Fringe you're putting through, the, your lie on the Fringe, etc, etc. At least in real life, you can do it pretty consistently in the game. And I used a power shot there, uh, well, you know, I, I didn't mean to actually lose a power shot, but I mean I, I used the power shot there to get past that front tree and get into that little alcove between the tree and the fast fairway and everything like that, because everything up on the right side there is just just danger. <laughs> fast fairway leading over to pot bunkers and heath and rough and all sorts of other garbage you don't want to be in, so I figured even if I lost a power shot there, it's a power shot worth losing. Uh, anyway... That's not a good shot there, kid. I, you know, I, I was expecting kid to do a lot more here, but... <laughs> that, that, well, the last hole he played was really good, but... You know, I would think that he would be shooting a lot better than that, considering he's the legend. Grant that he, he's probably still recovering from his injury to an extent, but... You know, you'd think you'd get used to the new way the body's working by now, and hello! <laughs> So yeah, like, like you know when you hurt yourself or something like that, you're like, ah, oh, this is feeling bad, and then you kind of work around it. <laughs> you know how it goes if you're trying to do stuff with a injury or something like that, and yeah. But the way he's playing, it's, it's not really that bad or anything like that, it's just, I'm exceptional, I guess. <laughs> Alright, hole five. Um, eh, I don't know, really. I think I'm gonna try and hit off the side of the hill and get down to that fast fairway. This is kind of a trick shot, but uh, it's what I in am envisioning here because of the wind. See, so watch, I bounce it off the side hill, it kicks to the right, and there we go. But, well, maybe that's too much, right? Because I got that tree in my way, though. Well, we'll see, I guess. Because I could always curve it around there. Maybe. I mean, unless I'm too close to do that, but we'll see. Um, hmm, well, okay, well, here's the shot. <laughs> eh, no, not that way. Eh, I guess I'll have to work with it that way. Hmm, yeah, that looks good. Just do it like, like, it looks like it's gonna hit the tree on this 3D screen, but it's not. And, and, oh, okay. Oh, that's actually a pretty good position, because... Looking at that, I don't think I'll have to move the cursor, I just have to hit it hard enough. And remember in the rain, gotta hit it much harder than you would normally, because the water increases ye all friction. And, 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 well, more like suction on grass or something like that. <laughs> anyway, let's see if he can make this birdie. Maybe. Uh, ooh, very nice pots. Okay, now he is chugging along here. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go to middle putt here. Okay, so I wanna hit it probably like way out there. Because this is uphill and rain and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I manage it. And I still haven't lost a hole thus far, but I am, I guess, just too OP. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit off the fast fairway. And try and stop it with backspin. Got it? That is how I'm calling my shot. Oh, I didn't hit the fast fairway, so this is going long. <laughs> I wanted to hit it further back, but I underestimated the power of the wind there. I figured that it wouldn't have drifted that far forward with the wind, because I was using a lower trajectory club on this long par 3. 
Uh, so, well, it happened, and well, I'm still on the green though, so I'm in good position, especially since he's not on the green. Because uh, chances are he's not going to chip it in, so I can two-putt my way to, at, at the very least, a tie. Uh, but anyway, let's see what he does. And that looks pretty good. That should be par territory, but am I in birdie territory? We'll soon see after I move it to smidge to the right and hit it uphill slightly. There we go. <laughs> the victories just keep on coming in. I think after this hole, I'm going to end off the parts, because I, I think this match is going to end up longer than it's actually seeming. So, we'll see how things roll like a ball. Uh-oh, that's going to hit the mound, because I mishit on the right edge of the gauge. Ugh! Okay, it actually didn't hit the mound, because I would have bounced much farther right, and I would have had trees in my way. But okay, I'm, I'm alright. Yeah, that really did look like it was going to hit the mound. Uh, what are you doing there, kid? What are you doing there, kid? <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm gonna win this hole. But, you know, I don't wanna count my chickens before I hit the hatch or anything like that. Because this is golf, after all. Actually, it's Mario Golf! <laughs> and, and, and... Sit down nicely. There we go. Now, the thing about this is that he can still make par. He can get... You can shoot one on the green and then one putt. So that's why I say I may win the hole, but there's a good chance I will win the hole because I'm a birdie machine. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, that's not gonna unless he chips it in. This is not gonna be his hole. But he kind of doomed himself with the water there by putting him in such a bad position. All right, let's see if I can make this for birdie though. Uh, uphill, so I'm gonna have to yeah switch to middle. And well. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go like there, so probably. Yeah, that turned out to be a wise decision, I think. <laughs> and there we go. <sighs> Five up. <laughs> Can you believe it? For out of, like seven holes, I'm five up. Just because I've been birding just virtually everything. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I'll probably, probably win the match. 